as we are still watching results roll in from California, the race is still too close to call for governor. Well, let's head back there now and talk to John Cox, a Republican candidate for uh, governor. He's hoping to make it into the fall uh, general election because of what's this jungle primary in California that the top two, regardless of party, end up there. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom believed to have an easy run in the top spot. Uh, but Mr. Cox, hoping to be the number two. How are you feeling tonight, sir? I'm doing great. Uh, I like the early returns and I'm eager to get into the battle. Okay, I want to read you something from the LA Times saying this. In left leaning California, Newsom is likely to breeze to victory in a November faceoff against Cox, who has hitched his campaign to the far right policies of the Trump administration. They make it sound like you don't have a chance. So, how do you respond? Well, you know, these are the these are the same experts who said that I wasn't going to be in the top 2, that it was going to be Via Ragosa and Newsom in the top 2. They were wrong about that, and they're wrong about the uh, effort that we're going to make in uh, November. Uh, the people of this state have been beaten into submission by the Democrats. This state is the number one state for poverty. It's unaffordable for people. It's the highest tax state in the country. The Democrats and Gavin Newsom have mismanaged the schools. They've mismanaged the roads. They've spent money like crazy, and they keep digging their hands in people's pockets. Gavin Newsom has said himself he's going to double the state income tax, he's going to raise property taxes, and he's going to fight the repeal of the gas tax. Well, I think the people of this state have been taxed enough. They know this state is unaffordable, Shannon. They want to change. They want to have a state where they can actually save money for their retirement or for their mm -hmm. kids' education. Well, and John, right now, that's not available to them. Yeah, John, we've talked about this before, that the polling shows where they are in issues of sanctuary cities and taxes and all kinds of things they don't like, and yet they keep voting for these Democrats. So how in the world do you undo that formulation? It seems that the Democrats have, a, you know, a lock on the state there, uh, despite the fact that people are unhappy about some of the policy decisions they make. Well, they haven't had a chance to vote on an alternative yet, Shannon. I'm a businessman. I've gotten results over 40 years in business. I've had to meet budgets. Gavin Newsom left San Francisco with an unbelievable fun, uh, unfunded pension debt, homeless people in the streets, uh, tremendous uh, housing prices that price everybody out of the market. 46% of people in the Bay Area said they wanted to leave. You know, I don't think Gavin Newsom deserves a promotion. And I think the people of this state, when they're given the alternative of somebody like me, who's actually going to deliver results for them, I think they're going to vote for me and they're going to change the, uh, the, the management in Sacramento. I want to read something else tonight coming in from Rolling Stone. They say this, if Cox makes his way onto the ballot, it will incentivize conservatives to head to the polls in November, even more so if Trump continues to tweet his support for the Republican businessman. Those conservatives will also vote for Republican congressional candidates, which would make it more difficult for the Democrats to win the seats they need to turn the House blue. How critical outside of just the governor's race is it for you to make it onto the ballot tonight because of all the other critical House races out there? I think it's critical to make sure that we get a better agenda in Washington. We've got to repeal and replace Obamacare. We've got to build infrastructure. That means we need to hold the House. We need to cut the massive spending. We need to deal with a $21 trillion debt. And the only way we're going to do that is by growing the economy. That's what I plan to do in California, Shannon. We've got a $1 trillion unfunded pension debt. We need to grow this economy. We need to make sure that businesses stop leaving this state. We've lost 9,000 businesses in the mm -hmm. last seven years. I'm a small businessman, and I talk to business people all across this state, and they tell me that they would move their business if they could, but they can't. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I think they're going to latch on to my campaign. They're going to say this is our last mm -hmm. chance to turn around this state before the Democrats and Gavin Newsom ruin it. And let me give you one more thing, Shannon. Quickly. 19 states, 19 states around the country have businessmen as governors, including blue states like Maryland, Michigan, and Massachusetts. And it's because those governors mm -hmm. get results. All right. I think California is going to go with a businessman, too. We'll see. We'll keep watching the results. John Cox, thanks for joining us. All right.